Like, ugh. Mm, okay, finger licking good. Woo, drop it. Try it Tuesday. Hey guys, welcome back to Try It Tuesday. Today we are trying a recipe called uh, Donut Fried Chicken. I saw it on this show. It's called um, Good Mythical Kitchen. It's a subsidiary show of Good Mythical Morning. If you guys haven't seen it, you should check it out. They make some really cool, fun food and they show you how to make it and it looks amazing. And ever since I saw the episode like two weeks ago, I've been wanting to try this chicken. So today, we're gonna try it and see if it really works. Okay, so the recipe seems really easy, but me being me, I can't just follow a recipe. So I am going to uh, paraphrase the recipe pretty much. And it's recipe because I don't have the exact um, everything that he used, but you know, whatever. You know how it go. First, we are making a brine for the chicken breast, which I have in this little baggie here. Um, he used chicken legs, I think, and he also used a bowl to brine it in, but I'm gonna use this bag because it's easier for me. All right, y'all, I ain't got a lot of dishes. Don't judge me. Y'all can judge that. I, I don't have a lot of dishes because I don't like to wash dishes, so the less dishes I have means I have to keep what I have clean. Yeah. Some hot sauce, he used some crystal, some kind of crystal hot sauce. I don't know, I like Frank's. I'm just gonna get that in there, you know what I'm saying? These ain't really exact measurements. Did he use it? I don't know if he used exact measurements. I don't think he used exact measurements. I mean, you know, it is what it is. A little black pepper. Oh, look at me up in here. Like I know what I'm doing. A little salt. Um, okay, so he used Ancient Mamas. I've got Kroger brand. I don't know if everybody have Kroger's where they are, but yeah, so look at all that thick syrup. Get up in there, okay? Whoopsie doodle. Don't want to use it all. It's my pancakes. And a little bit of water to make his brine. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to mix that up a little bit. Mm hmm. Okay, okay, okay. What's hiding up in here? So we just gonna stir this up, you know what I'm saying? A little stir, stir, stir. Smell nasty, but uh, you know, that does. Could be the buttermilk mixing with the hot sauce. So you know, sometimes you gotta be bad before you're good. So we are gonna pour this in here, hopefully very well, because I'm not trying to make a mess that I gotta clean up. Yes. Okay, yes. So we got that in the bag. Up in here, you know what I'm saying? Get all, ooh, ooh, don't do that. Okay, don't do what I just did, y'all. All right, so we got this in the bag here and we are going to put this in the refrigerator for about an hour or two and we'll be back and ready to fry this up because I can't wait to get to the next part, the eating part. Oh wait, I guess it's more cooking. But then after that, the eating part, y'all, is going down. It's going down for it. All right. So we are done marinating the chicken and I just found out why he had it in a bowl. I had to re-watch it and the reason he has, he's brining it in the bowl is so that he can do the back and forth with the flour or whatever. So I guess I'm gonna have to put it in the bowl anyway. Don't judge me people okay so we're putting it in there so we have our cooking oil going here um so he used canola oil but i am actually just using good old vegetable oil why because it's what i got and that's the most important part about recipes guys is using what you have so this is all the flour I have because I didn't, because I couldn't find my wallet. I was going to go to the store and get more flour, guys, but I couldn't find my wallet because it was in the refrigerator. Like, I literally don't know why my wallet was in the refrigerator, but it was. So anyway, let's finish this chicken. So what he does, first off, we need to season his flour. That's important. So... So season this flour. I think we have enough flour for this, hopefully. We're going to use some seasoning salt. Now, he ain't used none of this, but 
I don't know how you make chicken without it. So we're gonna use some seasoning salt. A little black pepper. Garlic powder. Salt. Okay, we're gonna stir this up right up in here. Stir it, 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 stir it. Okay, so for some reason, he dried his chicken off on paper towels. Okay, so put that there. That there. And that there. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Which really isn't necessary because we're going to be putting it back in there. You know what? Something, I don't, this is why, man, some of these recipes, they be just straight up tripping. So we're going to coat that, you know what I'm saying? Get it all full nice and floured up. Dip it back in the buttermilk. Dip it back in the flour. Now he used the thermometer to check and see if that grease was hot enough, but um, I ain't got no thermometer. Hot enough for me. You know what I'm saying? We do the old water trick around here. You feel me? Uh-huh. And then I'm going to just drop that on. Baking it to a crispy perfection. That shows you what I know. We are frying it. So we are frying this chicken to crispy perfection. And then we're going to dry it on this little drying rack. Now, I don't usually use a drying rack. But in the video, he did. And I'm going to see if it's a much better way to do things. You know, I'm always looking for a better way. So if it is, I'm all here for it. Alright, so it's about time to take these crispy, crunchy pieces of deliciousness out. There's two ways. To know when fried chicken is ready okay so one you use a thermometer or two you'll be black every black person has a built-in that chicken ready sensor I don't make the rules y'all this is just what I know and I've been black all my life most of my life okay all right y'all now y'all need to get a good look at this chin here right oh shoot I'm about to break stuff don't worry about it so these are our three pieces of fried chicken and they're going to sit on here for a second while we get the um, donut glaze together. I'm grabbing a little butter knife, going to put some butter in here. Okay, so I don't really know how much. I'm thinking that should be enough. That kind of feels like a lot of butter. Our butter. Ooh, don't want that to fall. And we're going to melt this butter. Now, I don't really know what's a lot and what's not a lot. We'll figure it out. All right, then we're gonna add some milk. That feels about right. Then we're gonna add some powdered sugar. A little more powdered sugar. Dokey, here we are once again, guys. We're back. We have our chicken and we've got our glaze, which we need to get on before it solidifies. Can you guys see that? Yes. Okay, so for his final, final parts, he just poured glaze. Okay, okay. I'm gonna do that with two pieces. One of these pieces is actually my dinner. <laughs> okay, a little more glaze on this one. Okay. Then he hit it with some cinnamon sugar. Then 
This seems a bit excessive, so one of them will not have cinnamon sugar. And then, he made a little um, syrup to go on top. And that was with uh, syrup and hot sauce. Delicious. Delicious. We're gonna mix that up real nice and nice and nice and nice. Okay, and we are going to drizzle that. Oh yeah guys. I don't know if y'all can see how good this looks, but it really looks good. So we're going to take my favorite little saucer here because it's so tiny and it says get cooking. How cute is that, right? Anyway, we're going to arrange these on the plate like he did. Sort of like he did. His were a little bit better. Yas. Yas. Can y'all see this? Like, how good does that look? Uh... Okay guys, so that was crazy fun, but let's see if this actually tastes as good as all the hype. I mean, I guess I'm the only one hyping it up, but let's see if it tastes as good as it looked on the video. Also, that glaze, I just I just found a new way to make glaze, guys. Yes. I'm going to take a bite from this side, actually. It's really, mm, I'm drooling, spitting. It's really, really good, actually. Um, guys, mm. that's my dinner. Woo, that's delicious. Okay, so this is a Try It Tuesday triumph, y'all. Amazing. I am. I watch Josh all the time um, on the Good Mythical Kitchen, and he makes the most amazing creations in that kitchen and this is the first one i've tried but it definitely will not be the last one you guys please go check it out i'll leave the link to the original video down below in case you guys would like to make this chicken yourself and if you like the video please uh subscribe like share click on the notification bell so you can get notifications every time i post thank you guys for watching this um i didn't expect it to turn out this good but it is, y'all. Like, uh, mm, I heard his finger licking good. Ooh, Joshy. Mm. Wonder if he made. Oh no, no, no. Mm, delicious though. It's pretty good. Mmm. Mmm. Yes. Yes. Mmm. I kind of wish I had somebody else here to taste it, but I know I wouldn't want to share. Wouldn't be good for them. Mmm. This is Gail, Miss and she tried it. I will see you guys, oh my gosh, next week or later in the week. I don't know. Bye-bye.